revealed for the first time how the next generation of intercity trains will look. Based on Japanese bullet train technology, the promise is more room, more seats and more trains on time. This full-size mock-up has secretly been used to develop our most important new trains for decades. This is standard class with a radical new seat design allowing extra room. The toilets we're promised will be reliable and spacious. And this is first class. Some of the trains will be able to run on electricity and diesel, allowing for better reliability when things go wrong. We want to make sure as much as possible that it's a design for the future, but also that we take into account issues from the past that can then be changed to make sure that the, uh, the, the passengers get the best experience they can. The government-backed project will replace Great Western trains dating back 40 years. British Rail built the uh, existing high-speed trains in the mid-1970s and they've served us all very, very well for a, a, quite a long period of time. But the new trains are on their way and they're going to bring Japanese standards of reliability to the rolling stock here in the UK. It's tremendously exciting times, more seats, more capacity, uh, faster journey times and more uh, reliable trains. Design company DCA built the mock-up to get the views of passenger groups, unions and the rail industry. This is the final design which we can reveal is about to be approved by the government. Well, so far, almost two years of work has gone into the design process. The entire project is worth some £5.8 billion. And in terms of how many carriages being built, it's 866. More and more people want to travel. And one of the challenges for us, the government, is to continue to provide the world-class infrastructure through our investment programme. And that's why we're committing to that through the next five years as well. The first trains are now being built by Hitachi at Casado near Hiroshima for testing. Most will be assembled at a new plant near Durham, creating almost 1,000 jobs. The first carriages will arrive later this year and enter service from 2017. Most passengers seem to like the new design. So it kind of looks quite different at the front, doesn't it? I think it's, uh, it seems very nice, to be honest. Uh, but I don't know about the slim seats. Uh. Smart. Yeah. Whether they'll stay smart is a different cup of tea. But no, they look smart. I don't know what, is it all artificial? vinyl or something, I presume they're made of. The new trains are not as fast as these latest Japanese carriages, but our version of the bullet train is on the way. Mike Pierce, ITV News.